What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today is hopefully a quick lesson on how we can implement scale patterns of four into soloing. So let's go. Cool. So today's lesson is hopefully a rather quick one. <laughs> it's how we can spice up our scales to be much more useful in songs, right? Specifically using this idea of patterns of four, right? We all know people like Joe Bonamassa and Eric Johnson have this pattern of five descending, right? Which is kind of harder in this music of Grateful Dead. But which pattern favors this music of the Grateful Dead is a ascending or descending pattern of four, right? So we're going to look at this pattern of four, how we can practice it ascending and descending, and then finally implement it into a real solo. So let's go. So the pattern of four isn't really life-changing, but it really helps when you're trying to crescendo a solo or you're trying to come back down and sort of you want to add more notes, right? Make it more interesting. So let's take a look first at, let's say, an A major scale, right? <laughs> Right. To implement the pattern of four, we're going to go up four steps and then come back down to the second degree. So, for instance, we'll go up four from the root, up four from the second degree, third degree, fourth degree. Right. And that's one octave. descending one octave. If you go up two octaves, Descending. Right. It becomes a bit of a workout in the second octave while using your pinky finger. Right? Ah, major seven. Also, in the same fingering, you could say, let's do it now from B Dorian. Four, one, two, three, four. Right? Something like that. So now let's see how we can implement it in a song. So before we engage the looper, let's check out the scale that we'll be using. A major slash B Dorian. So A major would be... Right. B Dorian would be those same notes, but just starting from the second degree, that B. Right? 
So now let's engage the looper and see how we can use this ascending pattern. right? Keep the libra going in the background so you can hear it more. There, we're ascending, right? So we can do whatever we want. Now we can do it. Right? Here it comes again. Pretty cool, right? So, so no more looper. So what's really happening? Well, we're ascending, obviously. By pattern of four to that G sharp. And now we're descending patterns of four, but starting from the B. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? So again. land on that B, which is the one, right? Right, pretty cool. So now we'll take this same pattern, this pattern of four, put on some distortion and you can really have this big crescendo moment. So check it out. Super cool. Again. One more time. So with no loop, that walk up is... Again. One more time. Really, really cool. How about that?
pattern of four. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on implementing this technique of playing scales in a pattern of four. Now, obviously, we used Althea and it worked out pretty well. You can also use a similar technique in songs such as China Cat, I Know You Rider, Playing in the Band, etc. Right? Wherever you want to put it, try it. You have nothing to lose. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.